sit back and enjoy three hours of work and night movie. Please stay to the end and no skipping or I'll cry. Enjoy the bad podcast, yet good edits. Hello everybody, my name is Noah Guthles, and today I will be talking with you about the Galapagos tortoise endangerment and what can we do to help it. Topic we will be talking about and discussing. We are talking about, of course, the pollution of the Galapagos Islands. That is, of course, where the Galapagos tortoise lives in this end. Yes, I know it's so crazy that the Galapagos tortoise happens to live in the Galapagos Islands. Anyway, the pollution in the area is very dangerous. It has caused many deaths throughout the whole entire island of different animals, considering uh, Galapagos tortoise endangerment and the Galapagos hawk endangerment, which is also the top predator. The biggest land tortoise out there is, of course, the Galapagos tortoise, and that's what is so special about it. It measures up to five feet wide and three feet tall. <laughs> That is what has brought the endangerment down the side of pollution. It has killed many, many Galapagos tortoises over time, and it has really brought down the population. What we can do in this situation is like take the Galapagos hawk and put it in a safe environment away from the Galapagos Islands to help the save of the Galapagos tortoise. Or it may be easier to bring the Galapagos tortoise to a different, safe place and keep that out of reach of the Galapagos hawk. The Galapagos tortoise is a great animal and definitely deserves to live on planet Earth. We need to help this animal out, even though the scientists have already done a great, great big part of getting it back together. There was originally only 10 left, and now there's 15 as of 2015. I believe if my information is correct, you can look that up if you have Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do it. What has caused the endangerment of the Galapagos tortoise is of course hunters and collectors going after the shell of the Galapagos tortoise which is, in fact, the biggest shell on a tortoise today. And, I mean, it is valuable, it's cool, but you just took a life by taking the shell. So, I definitely recommend and hope that no one ever will do that again. It is such a cruel thing to do for the Galapagos tortoise, and it's in danger. How you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. That wraps up the podcast for today. Thank you for tuning in and listening to this. Please, please, please help the Galapagos tortoise to come back to its safe place and its normalcy and get the population going up. I know people sometimes don't want to go to the Galapagos Islands because it's just an extra pay on that debit card or just a dent in your money. And that's totally understandable, but you don't have to go to the Galapagos tortoise to help it out. You can go back and listen to all the things I've said previously that can definitely help it. I think the biggest one for us is buying things like bamboo plates and bamboo things. Things of bamboo that would normally be a plastic and paper. And yes, thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. And I'll be signing off. It's been Noah Guckles, and bye. What has my life come to?